All right, guys, we're gonna, today we're gonna work on comparing slopes and y-intercepts. This is the first page of the quarter that we did. So if you want, need to go back and catch up, you can pause the video and copy the notes for this page. Page two is the study guide. Okay, we did this together. This is the study guide. Page. This is still page two. Remember, you can pause the video. Please go back and watch the video on the study guide. It will be very helpful to do that. And that's the end of page two. Page three is what we're gonna do today, okay? And we're comparing slopes and y-intercepts of linear equations, all right? Remember, if I move too fast for you, then please just let me know that I'm moving too fast for you. All right. This is going to be page three, quarter three, last name, your last name. I'm going to pause for the calls. Okay. A linear equation or linear equations are equations that graph straight lines, right? Slope, okay, slope. So we're talking about slopes of linear equations and y-intercepts of linear equations. Oh, I should have put of linear equations. Sorry, y'all. That's important. I left that completely off. Slope, or what we call rate of change, is the steepness of a line. It's how steep the line is. It's the incline of a line. The steepness of a line. The letter for slope is M. All right, your y-intercept, your y-intercept, or another word for y-intercept is your starting or initial amount is where the line crosses the y-axis. It's where the line crosses the y-axis, okay? The letter for y-intercept is B. The letter for y-intercept is B. That's okay, Lily. All right. Here, your y-intercept, your the letter for y-intercept is B. I lost my train of thought for a second there, y'all. And your y-intercept is where your line crosses the y-axis, but it is also the y value when x is equal to zero in a table, okay? Or and a group of ordered pairs. So when you see this, zero, comma, and a number of some sort, whatever this number is, is your y-intercept. Whatever this number is, when you see x is equal to zero, whatever this number is beside that is gonna be the y-intercept. Okay. Let me know if I'm moving too fast, okay? To find the slope, there's two formulas that I use. One of the formulas is rise over run. 
And the other formula is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. All right. Okay. All right, so now we're going to do our example. Okay. So our example, we have an equation and we have a table. And we're going to compare the slopes of both the equation and the table. The equation that they give you in this example is 3x plus 1. And the table that they give you, table values with ordered pairs, the first ordered pair is 0, 2, then 1, 4, then 2, comma 6, then 3, comma 8. Okay? And they want, the question is, which slope is greater? The question is, which slope is greater? So you have to find the slope for both. I'm going to pause for the calls to give you a chance to write, and then we're going to find the slope of, of both. So in order to find the slope of the equation, the equation must be written in slope-intercept form. Remember, that's y equals mx plus b. The number that is attached to the x is going to be my slope. So my slope here is 3. So m for the equation is 3. Any questions about how I figured out what the slope was in this equation? Okay. All right, so let's find the slope of the table. To find the slope of the table, you can't use the rise over run. You have to use the slope formula, y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. This is the formula we're going to use to find the slope of a table. So here we're going to pick two points from the table. I'm going to pick the first two points. My first two points, 0, 2, x1, y1, because it's the first point. And the second point I'm going to choose is 1, 4. I can pick any of the points in the table. This is the second point I chose. So this is x2, y2. So I chose two points. All right, so now we're going to substitute these values into this formula. So I'm going to put m is equal to, look at y2. y2 is right here. This is 4 minus y1. y1 is right here. It's 2 divided by x2. x2 is right here. It's 1 minus x1. x1 is right here, 0. So when I simplify this, I get m is equal to, slide up a little bit, I get m is equal to 2, this is 2 on the top, and 1 on the bottom. So my m, my slope for the table is 2. Okay, so which slope is greater? The slope of the equation. Very good. m is equal to 3. The slope of the equation is greater. So my answer is the slope of the equation is greater. Okay, and I will pause for the calls. Lastly, when you're making comparisons, which we didn't have to worry about in this problem, you ignore the negative and the positive when you're trying to figure out which one is greater than the other. We're going to ignore the negative and positive in the answer. Once you get your answer, just ignore the fact that it's a, a negative or a positive sign in the answer. So even if it was negative three and negative two, my answer is still gonna be 
that this slope is greater because all this is saying is that it's going down at a faster rate. And we'll have more examples of this tomorrow. All right, I'm gonna stop the video here. Are there any questions? Is there anything that I need to add before I stop? All right, I'm gonna stop sharing my screen here in a second, but uh, I do want you to work on your I ready. Go to the Winston-Salem Forsyth County School page, please. Go to Clever. When you go to Clever, log in with Google. And there's a icon, there's a box that says I ready. And we've done this a bunch of times. We've done this a bunch of times. You need to make sure that you complete three lessons by the end of the week. We've had four weeks to complete three lessons. We kind of had a little bit longer, but I'm going to count four weeks. We've had about five weeks to do it. Okay. And then just go ahead and get this done. Yours look a little different from mine, um, but please make sure that you go ahead and get three lessons done. It's not going to let you do three lessons until you finish the diagnostic test. So if you haven't completed the diagnostic test, you need to make sure that you complete that diagnostic test. And we had a, a whole lot of time to do the diagnostic test. So please do that first, and then you can complete your already lessons. I'm going to stop sharing. Um, there's only a couple people that have finished the already. Those of you that have finished the already, you can go ahead and exit. Have a great day. Others of us need to stay on the line and continue working on already, okay? Let's do that now. Continue working on iReady. Oh, go ahead. Sure. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yes. Right. Yes. That's exactly right. Yes, you are so welcome. Absolutely. Jacarlin already finished the I ready. That's fine. I already knew that. And so did Jonas. He already finished the I ready as well. Guys, the rest of us we need to make sure that we're working on that I ready. Um, Gianna, are you there, babe? Make sure that you cut your camera on. Some people are putting it towards the, yeah, that's fine. I don't like it, but at least I know somebody is there. That's fine. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and mute myself. I need you guys to work on iReady. Do we have any questions for, for me? Anybody need any help with anything? Okay. All right. I'm going to mute and allow you guys to work on your I ready. Mr. Settles, whenever you want to leave, it's fine. They're just working on I ready. Bye. Bye. See you later.